All right, guys, so I decided to do a little, something a little bit different here. I'm going to kind of go through the campaign of Dawn of War mission by mission as I play through it. Uh, I figure I'm going to do it to unlock some skulls. Might as well put it up here for you guys that are interested in seeing how the game's story progresses without wanting to actually buy it. Maybe the gameplay itself bothers you, but you're curious to see uh, what happens with Gabriel Angelos. Um, so that's why I've uh, decided to go through this here. At the same time, I'll just kind of be talking about lore idly as I play through um, the actual cinematics I'm not going to talk for. I'm going to try and not speak as much when any of the N NPCs are talking and talking about any kind of plot points. So we'll just kind of let that go through. Uh, let's go ahead and launch on the mission. But I'll talk a little bit about the Space Marine Legions and chapters and the Horus Heresy and the Foundings and whatnot because we're dealing with the Blood Ravens here to begin with. Um, but from what I understand, every single mission is different. Like, you don't just play through the Space Marine campaign and the Orcs and the Eldar. You play switching from person to person. Uh, the, How the Knights of House Farlock have stood watch on this world for over a millennium. Today, today they stand on the brink of ruin. Their commander, Lady Soloria, sends out a desperate call for aid. Only Gabriel Angelos, leader of the Blood Ravens, dares to answer. by order of the Imperial Commander, Inquisitor Hold. Reinforcements were kept in high orbit and forbidden from landing upon the planet. Leaving the Knights of House Warlock on their own to defend against the Rampage. when the Blood Ravens descended from the sky. Their chapter master, Gabriel Angelos, defied the Inquisitor's blockade and came to the aid of House Farlock. This is Gabriel Angelos, Chapter Master of the Blood Ravens. My Space Marines and I have deployed to the breach. We shall stem the Orc Tide. Space Marines? It's about damn time you got here. Alright. So we're playing as Gabriel Angelos here, the Chapter Master of the Blood Ravens Chapter. The chapter master itself is basically the head and leader of a chapter, as you would assume. There are ten companies in a boom in a chap in a uh, chapter. With the first company being basically, oh man, that's somersault of doom. <laughs> basically, being the 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 company of veterans and comprised almost entirely of people in Terminator. Terminator armor, also known as Tactical Dreadnought armor, as you've probably seen if you've played the game or gotten a chance to really like rip squads up with it, is pretty awesome. Slow, lumbering, just beastly weapons platforms more or less, or close combat powerhouses. But um, these chapters, there's a thousand marines in one chapter. 
uh, the chapters were came about during oh, that little graphical glitch um, came about during what's called the second founding. So the emperor, emperor of mankind, had twenty original legions, like the Blood Raven. I'm sorry, not the Blood Raven. The Blood Angels, the Ultramarines. That is gonna blow your security deposit right there. Um, the Blood Angels, the the Ultramarines, the Space Wolves, Night Lords. Um, all these are part of like the twenty original legions. And during the Horus Heresy, when um, Horus Lupercal led a, a, a grand civil war, more or less, against. Uh, let's get you right up here and flop. Um, against the Imperium, with nearly half of the, the assembled legions at the time. Um, after that, Rogel Dorn, who is what's called the Primarch, the Primarchs were considered the leaders of these legions. And every single legion took certain aspects from its Primarch. For instance, uh, the Space Wolves from their Primarch, Lehman Russ, ha have ultra long canine teeth that get longer with age and increased sense of smell and hearing like wolves they, they hunt and everything um oh, 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 and swamp i get it additional units i want to i want to see gabriel angels do more somersaults of doom here swamp um, so the these primarchs in basically to part a portion of their genes genetic code um, called gene seeds this is what gives the space wolves their their crazy um, sense of sense of smell like like wolves and their and their long canines and their ability to like howl well, not really ability to howl and what can howl but like their predication I guess to predilection to, to howl and let's get you guys doing that let's get this over Womp. But, or like the Night Lords, for instance, have an, a, a gland that allows them, that, that is more apparent in their gene seed than, than other. And FWOMP. <laughs> in other Space Marine Legions, that allows them to actually spit acid, which is kind of crazy. Um, but again, this gene seed is implanted in Space Marines while they're initiates. And it's not like a guaranteed, oh, you pop in a gene seed, out pops a space marine. There's a, there's a grueling like kind of adaptation process as their body adapts to the genetic code being forced into it. At the same time, they're given augmented, augmented surgery that adds to them. So they, they get like additional hearts, uh, uh, more lungs. Um, oh, it's going to be right here. Wow, that was that was warp timing on my heart. My heart. Let's get these guys over here. Though. Um, but it grants them like a, a, maybe an additional. Like basically, their stomachs can eat bark off a tree to give them sustenance. There's all these things have very specific glands, which is crazy too. They, they've gone through like quite a bit of detail here. Um, but they also have a gland which, once once they uh, they suffer immortal or not immortal mortal wounds, it puts them into kind of a uh, uh, an induced com comatose state where they can recover quicker and allows for like an apothecary to get them and actually um, heal them. But so they're, they're granted all through the augmentative surgery. They're given all these all these um, I don't want to say abilities, but they're ooh, ooh, right on my face. They're granted all of these. These extra organs that help them to essentially, like, kick ass. But at the same time, they might not survive. Like, say, the, the, the space wolves, if they don't survive, there's a chance that they either die outright or they become wolfen, which are basically space marine werewolves. And cool as fuck. Uh... Let's make you three, actually. Make you two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good. 
But like I was saying, I kind of got off a little tirade here. Tirade here. Or not tirade. Um, <laughs> tirade here. And... Boom! Oh, come on. That's just... That's just fucking weird. I think... Um, okay, so yeah. The Legion's... Basically, Rogaldorn said... No man should be able to really control this much power, this, these many space rings at one time, since they're such a destructive force. And the 20 space ring legions broke up into chapters. And those chapters were all successor chapters of their parent legions. Let's watch this here. So, these, these successor chapters take on inherent traits from their, their founding chapter, is what it's called. Oh! Yeah, guys, gun them down for me before I leap over there. Um, so, for instance, say, like, the Flesh Terrors, who are from the Blood Angels founding chapter... Oh, damn. I mean, I suppose. Look at these little shits. Boom! Get that somersault in your face, son. Gabe up in the air. Put in the hoop like slam. Get ready for a space ring jam. But, okay, so these founding chapters, that, like I said, they carry on their some of their traits to their... Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna get rid of these shooters. They do a lot of damage. Let's get those guys there. Drop right on the shooters, too. Yes, 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 Anakin. Right there. Um. Targeting orcs. Ooh. Targeting infantry. Gather around me, orcs. Repositioning. My hammer will crush you. Orcs cannot be can by angry done. Make way. Taste my pain, bitch. So, like, the Flesh Terrors, the Blood Angels suffer what's called the Black Rage. That's what makes their death companies. Um, the Flesh Terrors, though, are more subject to it, and it's kind of said that, like, over time, the Flesh, tours will, flesh Terrors won't actually last multiple, many uh, more centuries slash millennia because the Black Rage is taking them over faster than they can actually recover their, their men. So, every single... Let's get you to reinforce. These little things will reinforce and watch. Whop! Let's get you to reinforce. You need some help. Oh, yeah. Let's get you to control the three and four. Four. There we go. I love Dreadnoughts. Look at these guys. So Dreadnoughts are entombed. Like, a, like basically, a Space Marine hero is entombed in there. Like, maybe a captain that was really valiant or... or um, like an honor, or a stern guard sergeant, or something like that. Someone who basically did good for the chapter. Um, they entomb them in this, and they basically go into like hibernation, more or less, when they're not fighting. And when they come out, they're like, they kind of are like in a daze, like, huh? What? What happened? But I literally dig on them. Hmm. Can these guys. Oh, man, I want to give you all some flamers. But let's actually. Some assault squads. I'm all about my. So the the army that I play in tabletop is the Blood Angels, 
So I'm all about... Oh, whoops. Didn't see this. Oh, whoopsies! We don't really have to do that now, though. So I play them, so I really like salt, Assault Marines, and I like uh, Dreadnought Super Street dropped into the fray. I'm all about that action. Here. I'm afraid to get these scout squads. I don't want them to get like, you know, exposed. Fuck it. Let's get one of them. Do that. But um, this way to sanctuary. But you've got your. So the cool thing about the Blood Ravens, though, like I was saying, saying they don't really, we don't know who their founding chapter is. Okay. Yes. Uh, there's, they're, they're suspected to maybe be part of the founding chapter, or the founding legion actually is suspected to be the Thousand Sons, which is. Uh, which is um, an actual a legion that went heretical during the Horus her heresy. And that's also kind of depending on which book you're reading, to be honest. Um, but the... The... Uh, the... 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 Thousand Sons are considered like some of the best psychers, and the Blood Ravens have a very high contingency of uh, librarians, which are the Space Marine psychers, and that's uncommon. They're not supposed to technically have that many. Um, like their former chapter master, master can remember from some of the old games or the previous Dawn of Wars. Uh, remember when I wasted that drop on those guys? Um, was actually. A, libra a librarian that Gabriel Angelos kills. So, you right off the bat, you have like kind of a clearly a, a heavy psyker influence in their in their former chapter master. What a weird pathing on Gabriel Angelos. He just doesn't want to jump into the fray. Get closer. Oh come on! Like I said, weird pathing. Um, so there, there's just kind of a there's there's a theory that these guys are part of the Thousand Sons as far as a founding ch founding chapter, and I think that's actually talked about in in Dawn of War Two. I want to say I'm not very sure. There's so many damn expansions that I didn't finish the uh, stories on all of them. Fend off the final orc attack, dude. Be the rock in which the orcs splash against Gabriel and fix your path, you asshole. Get up in there. Get up in there. Oh, guy's getting gunned down. Take that, assholes. Bring this right on top of him. Oh, do I hit? Did I see a flame? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Foxing the houses up. It's this hot young thing as a club named Hans. Listen to his Tashno music, you yeah. Oh, boom! Man, I promise in the tabletop, no Space Marine does somersaults like that. We gotta get over there. Gabe! Oh, yeah, we shall rally beneath it indeed. Hell. 
Very weird pathing again, like I was saying. Hmm. So, thing to note, do not let them, being, you know, your enemy, get in the range of that standard or else you lose it. Just like we've seen in multiplayer. Fend off the final orc attack. Jerky camera there, Relic. I think that's Thunderhawk. Okay. So, that will wrap up the first mission here. Again, I don't want to go too crazy and keep doing back-to-back. Uh, -back. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this, if this is <clears throat> something you'll, you're, you're looking forward to. Um, I can keep doing more of these. I can just do this one. Um, let me know. I, I, like I said, plan on playing through the campaign to get skulls for unlocks for the actual online. But I figured this is kind of a fun way for me to just kind of bang out some necessary gameplay, kind of fill you guys in on some lore as I play the Space Marines, the Eldar, and the Orcs. Uh, I played the Space Marines in competitive Warhammer 40k, and I played Warhammer 40k more so than I did fantasy and I oh god I read all I'm looking at my bookcase and it's just filled to the fucking brim with Horus Heresy books so the 40k and Space Marines like Space Bros and their space opera that's my jam so uh, if you guys are enjoying this let me know I'd, I'd love to put up more of these videos for y'all uh, that way you can kind of see uh, how this how the story of the game progresses and also get a little lore about the uh, all the units involved Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one, and be on the lookout for some more stuff. we got a head-to-head -head campaign coming up with uh, Turner and I. That was supposed to go up earlier, but we got a bit of a snafu, so that'll be coming up here this week. Uh, hang tight. I know a lot of you are, are really uh, looking forward to it, but it will happen, and I promise I'll get ambushed on turn one, like fucking always. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one. Take care.